Hello, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am here, Witness. What I like to do is uh, give you a rundown on brand new music, um, any new releases, and then I make it into a short review for you to hear. So today I'm very, very, very excited uh, because I have a brand new album from Emma Anderson. It's called Pearlies, and it's out on Sonic Cathedral. So Emma Anderson, the co-founder of Lush and later Sing Sing, shares this stunning debut solo album, Pearlies, via Sonic Cathedral. While some of the songs uh, sound like a continuation of classic Lush tones, Anderson bends her stylings a touch while bringing in Richard Oakes of Suede uh, to provide the guitar virtuosity, and producer James Chapman added the ethereal electronica and dreamy textures to the mix. If you like this sort of content and uh, you're into music, into music reviews, please like and subscribe. It only helps my channel and it helps uh, the algorithm as well. Okay, well, back to it. So some backstory on how Emma Anderson got here. Lush had disbanded in 1996 uh, after the release of their Love Life LP after drummer Chris Auckland's suicide. She went on to front Sing Sing until 2007, releasing a couple of wonderful albums, including their last, The Joy of Sing Sing, in 2007. It's awesome. Check it out. A reunion for Lush took hold in 2016 as other shoegaze heroes, Slow Dive and Ride, were, were reuniting. Lush released a four-track EP called Blind Spot that year and even toured the U.S. and U.K. However, original bassist Phil King departed, leaving the Lush reunion halted. At the time, Emma was actually writing songs for Lush 2.0, uh, with some elements uh, showing up here on Pearlies. So track one, I Was Miles Away, gets its DNA from the Lush album Split, See Desire Lines, check out that, that song. Um, the dream pop is elegant and hazy, while showing off a 60s sensibility through the use of organ and synths. Willow and Mallow, track number seven, is an acoustic guitar number, indie folk with layered orchestral synths. Clusters, track 10, must have been one, one of those that was penned for the Lush reunion. It starts slow, then heads into a very love-like type of vibe. Track 5, Xanthi, creates a cinematic soundscape, hearkening back to Robin Gunn 3 and the Cocteau Twins. The airiness of the sounds are warm and glittery. Tonight is Mine has a cheery electronic sheen with guitars whipping and circling about. Track two, Bend the Round, is a slowed down Britpop gem that could have surfaced anywhere in the mid to late 90s. Track three, Interlight, seems to be in the mold of a broadcast tune. Pastoral, psych folk set in the late 60s, like in a late 60s club or something. So, all that said, Emma Anderson continues to shine with an effervescent beauty of soundscapes signaling back to the early shoegaze and dream pop ethos. It's just pure delight, and I'm really digging listening to this one. Let me give you my favorites on the album. So uh, first is uh, the, the first track, I Was Miles Away. Number seven, Willow and Mallow. Number 10, Clusters. Number five, Xanthi. Number eight, Tonight is Mine. Number two, Bend the Round. And number three, Enter Light. Honestly, I probably could have put in uh, pretty much one through ten uh, because it's just that great of an album. Um, I'm, I'm so excited. I was really looking forward to this album for, for many months now. Emma had released about three singles um, before the release of this full-length LP just this uh, Friday. So um, at any rate, check it out. It can't miss with any of the tracks. Uh, I, I think you'll enjoy it, especially if you are a Lush or Sing Sing fan. Well, that's it for me. Thank you for tuning in. Like and subscribe. I am here, Witness.